الرحيم نحمد ونصلي على رسول الكريم ما بعد وأنا بهريرة رضي الله تعالى عنه أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال آية المنافق ثلاث إذا حدث كذب وإذا وعد أخلف وإذا تمن خان متفق عليه زاد في رواية لمسلم وإن صام وصلى وزعم أنه مسلم Continue with the chapter Al-Wafa Bil-Ahd wa Injaz Al-Wa'ad The chapter which deals with the fulfilling of one's pledges and keeping one's promises We completed the verses of the Qur'an on the previous occasion The first of the ahadith which Imam Nawi rahimahullah introduces in this chapter As we mentioned this chapter deals with honoring one's pledges. You make a promise, and you make a commitment, that commitment we should fulfill. And there should be weight to our zaban. Whatever we speak, there should be some commitment or integrity behind it. Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala narrates that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the signs of a hypocrite, the signs of a munafiq are three things. When he speaks, then he lies. When he makes a promise, he breaks the promise, he does not fulfill it. And when he is given an amanat, a trust, then he misappropriates that trust. In other words, he is deceptive in his behavior. In the riwayat of Muslim Sharif, the first the hadith which we mentioned is found in Bukhari and Muslim. However, in the riwayat of Muslim Sharif, there is an addition to the hadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that these are the three signs of a hypocrite. وَإِن sama وَصَلَّى وَزَعَمَ أَنَّهُ Muslim. Even though he may fast and he may make salah and even though he may claim that he is a Muslim, Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that such a person is a munafik, a hypocrite. This hadith is more than sufficient warning for us as to the manner in which we should distance ourselves from the practices that are mentioned in this hadith. Allah Ta'ala says in the Qur'an, إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ وَلَن تَجِدَ لَهُمْ نَصِيرًا that the munafiqeen will be in the lowest level of Jahannam. There's a surah in the Qur'an which is called Surah Munafiqoon. إِذَا جَاءَكَ الْمُنَافِقُونَ قَالُوا نَشَّدُوا إِنَّكَ لَرَسُولُ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ يَعْلَمُ إِنَّكَ لَرَسُولُ وَاللَّهُ يَشَّدُوا إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ لَكَاذِبُونَ Interestingly, if you look at the first verse of that Qur'an, Allah Ta'ala mentions about the hypocrites. He says, إِذَا جَاءَكَ الْمُنَافِقُونَ Addressing Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says that the munafiqeen, the hypocrites come to you. Qalu, they say, Nashhadu innaka la Rasulullah. We bear witness, innaka verily you la Rasulullah. If you look at this verse of the Quran, there is emphasis upon emphasis. Nashhad, first, we don't just say, we bear witness, we give shahadat, we swear an oath, we give testimony. Innaka, that is emphasis. Innaka, verily you. And then lam again, emphasis upon emphasis. We bear witness that verily you, without a doubt, Rasulullah, are the Rasul of Allah. Wallahu ya'alam, Allah knows, innaka la rasulu, that verily you are his messenger. Wallahu yashhad. Now Allah gives shahadat. Allah bears testimony, innan munafiqeen ala kadibun, that they are speaking lies. So the quality of the munafiqeen which Qur'an highlights, the quality of a hypocrite which Qur'an highlights is إِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ لَكَاذِبُونَ That they are deceitful, they are not speaking the truth. And with regards to such people, Allah says, فِي الْدَرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ They will be in the lowest level of Jahannam. Now obviously, the munafiqeen that are referred to here uh, what we call, according to the ulama, they say this is nifaq shari'i. One is shari'i nifaq, that which in the shari'at is regarded as being hypocrisy. 
who are the hypocrites? Ulama say, Ibtanul Kufr wa Idharul Iman. They are those people who outwardly, overtly display Iman, but in their hearts there is Kufr. There is disbelief in their hearts. And they pretend to be believers. There were a group like that in Medina Munawara in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. That is Shari'i Nifaq. With regards to them, obviously, Allah Ta'ala says, Fiddarki al Asfali min al Nar, they will be in the lowest level of Jahannam. Then we have, Ulama explained what we call Nifaq Urfi. That is a different type of Nifaq. In other words, what is understood to be hypocrisy, or what society regards as hypocrisy. That is, Konu Sirrihi bi Khilafi Alaniyatihi. That is, one, a person has something in his heart, he shows something, on the, something else on the outside. That in, shari- that in amongst practice, amongst people is regarded to be something, to be an act of hypocrisy. And ulama say that is what is referred to in this particular hadith where Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Ayatul Munafiq, the sign of a hypocrite, a believer are three things. Another explanation of this hadith, Alama Khattabi rahimahullah gives, he says, Al-Murad nifaqul amal la nifaqul iman. One is what we call nifaq of iman, where a person is a kafir and he pretends to be a believer. That obviously we understand is what is referred to as a hypocrite and all the various severe warnings that are found in Quran and Hadith about such people. The other is what we call amali nifaq. In other words, the practices of a hypocrite. The person, according to Sharia, is not a hypocrite, but he is engaging in amal or practices of a hypocrite. Like for example, we mentioned the verse of the Qur'an where Allah Ta'ala refers to the munafiqeen and Allah Ta'ala speaks of the fact that they are deceitful, they speak lies. As Muslims, as believers, to even be associated with hypocrisy, to even be associated with the munafiqeen, this is something that we should find absolutely reprehensible. This is something that we should stay away from. And this is why we find the severity of the warning that is found in this hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In fact, Safwan radiallahu ta'ala anhu is the narrator of another hadith. He mentions that one person came one day to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I mentioned this many times before. But because what is referred to in this hadith has become so common amongst us, for a Muslim speaking lies, this is something that should not be happening. And even if perchance we get find ourselves in a situation that we are deceitful or we speak lies, it should not be the norm, it should be the exception. Today, unfortunately, this speaking lies, being deceitful, doing people down, not keeping one's word, etc., this has now become something that we are so habitual, so used to, that we don't even realize what a great guna and what a great sin this is. Allah's Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it is possible, the mafum of the hadith, Allama Munziri rahimullah mentions it in his at targhib wa tarheeb He said, it is possible that a Muslim, a believer, can commit any type of sin. It is possible that a Muslim, a believer, can commit any type of sin except two sins. And one is speaking lies and the other is khianat, misappropriating a trust. This Nabi Salaam said, it's not possible that a believer can be doing this. The hadith of Safwan radiallahu ta'ala anhu, ayakun al-mu'min jabanan. A person came and asked Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that Ya Rasulullah, is it possible for a man to have iman, for a person to be a believer and for him to be a coward? Cowardliness is something that not, not just Islam, any shariat, any deen does not promote or encourage a person to be a coward. It's looked down upon. So this person came and asked, Ya Rasulullah, can a man have iman and be a coward? Nabi Salaam said, yes, it is possible. Although it's not something encouraged to be a coward. Yes, it is possible. A man can be, have iman and be a coward. Ayakun al-mu'min bakhilan. 
Ya Rasulullah, is it possible for a man, to, for a person to have iman and be a bakhil, a miser? A miser, leave shariat in society. You refer to a miser as a kanjus. They say makki chus. It squeezed the oil out of a fly. In shariat, Allah's Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, al bakhilu ba'idun min al-nar, ba'idun min Allah, ba'idun min al-jannah. He said a bakhil, a miserly person, is far away from Allah, far away from the people, far away from Jannat also. So this is something that is reprehensible. Yet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is asked, is it possible for a person to have iman and be a miser? Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, yes, it is possible. And then Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was asked, ayakun al-mu'min kathaban. Can a man have iman and be a liar? Can a man have iman and be a liar? Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, no. He cannot be a believer and be a liar. He said, أَنَا زَعِيمٌ بِبَيْتٍ فِي رَوَضِ الْجَنَّةِ لِمَنْ تَرَكَ الْكَذِبُ وَإِنْ كَانَ مَازِحًا He said, I, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, am a guarantor. Come and claim it from me. Allah will give you a home in the middle of Jannat. You, I guarantee you that. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, I am your guarantor of this. A home in the middle of Jannat. If you will give up speaking lies, even when you are joking, do not speak lies. And this is something, my respected brothers, we should become very, very serious about. Whether it's our financial dealings, whether it's our even joking with your family, whether it is your interaction with people, whenever you come into contact with people, when every time we are speaking, unfortunately speaking lies, being deceitful, presenting something, doing something else, this has become something that forget, regarding it as bad, we praise people. Look, he pulled wood over, uh, wool over his eyes. Look at how, what a, what, a, what a cunning person he is. As if this is something that shariat encourages, or even deen encourages. Look at the wording of the hadith. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, in other words, in shariat, a munafiq is, wo- is the worst type of kafir. One is you get a person who is a kafir. Then the worst type of kafir is a munafiq. Allah Ta'ala says there is no greater azab than the azab that will be given to a munafiq. Fi darkil asfali min nar And yet Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam equates these actions with the actions of a munafiq. Ayatul munafiq. He said the sign of a munafiq. The sign of a hypocrite. So automatically as people of iman, there should be this aversion, this hatred in our heart to even be associated with what Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is referring to in this hadith. What are the three things? He said, Ida haddatha kadab. When he speaks, he speaks lies. He is deceitful. He does not speak the truth. He is not honest. He doesn't have integrity. Bismillah said, this is a sign of a munafik, a hypocrite. The second, وَإِذَا وَعَدَ أَخْلَفْ He makes a promise, he doesn't keep his promise. And وَإِذَا أَتُمِنَ Khan, And when he is given amanat, a trust, he deceives people in that trust. He misappropriates the trust. And further warning, we find in the riwayat of Muslim Sharif, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, such a person in my eyes is a munafiq. Such a person is in, my, in my eyes is a munafiq. Even if he fasts, even if he fasts, and he makes five times salah, salah in hadith, doesn't just mean musalli, it means a musalli in the masjid five times a day. Salah, he makes salah five times a day in the masjid. Fast, and he claims that he is a Muslim. Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, technically, literal translation of the hadith, my Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi is saying such a man is a munafik, is a hypocrite, even if he does all this. As we mentioned in the explanation, ulama say that the shari'i nifaq, or that this person will be labeled a hypocrite, as, in other words a kafir, that obviously is not the meaning of the hadith. But we can see the severity of the warning that is found in the hadith.